Hello everyone. Today I will show you how you can easily autoscale your Kafka consumer applications on OpenShift or Kubernetes with Keda. Before we do that, uh, let me quickly give you an overview on what Keda project is about. Keda aims to make Kubernetes event-driven autoscaling that simple. That means that you can automatically scale your Kubernetes deployments, jobs or custom resources. The scaling is happening based on metrics or events happening in some external service. So in our case, it's a number of messages in Kafka topic. And to achieve that, Keda provides 35 plus built-in scalers. As a, as a scaler, you can imagine a small connector to the external service, which scrapes the metrics, so Keda knows how to scale. So there is Kafka scaler, Prometheus scaler, RapidMQ scaler, and others. Users can also build their own external scalers. The important thing to mention is that Keda does not manipulate the data. It just scales the workload. The workload, which is the application, needs to handle the data delivery. You can very easily install Keda on OpenShift with OLM operator, or alternatively, you can use some chart. So this is what Keda project is about, and now I will show you how you can install Keda on OpenShift. So I'm on OpenShift console, and this is the operator hub, and I will locate Keda operator. It's a community operator, latest version, which is 2.4 at the moment. And let's install it. Let's install it into Keda, uh, Keda namespace. Keda has two main components. One is Keda, Keda operator, and the second component is Keda metric server with some additional configuration and etc. To simplify the installation experience, we have created this Keda OLM operator, which manages the installation of both Keda operator and Keda metric server, both components. So as we can see, Keda is being installed into Keda namespace. And to complete the installation of Keda on your OpenShift cluster, you need to create a Keda controller custom resource. This custom resource represents an installation of a particular version of, of the Keda operator and metric server, both components. So let's create this Keda controller. It has named Keda and there are multiple options as you can see, but we can keep the default values and we can just go ahead. So we can see that the Keda controller uh, installation is happening and in other resources we can see that several uh, resources have been created in the meantime. Let's check the pods in Keda namespace. Okay, so over here we can see the Keda OLM operator. This is the one, the umbrella, the main operator which manages the installation. And over here we can see the Keda operator component and Keda metric server. We can see that both are running and are ready. So if we check the logs of Keda operator, we can see, okay, it has been started. Keda metric server has been started as well. Awesome. Okay, so Keda is up and running on OpenShift. Let's go back to our example. So we have an application that consumes messages from Kafka topic. This, con this application has been deployed as a standard Kubernetes deployment. There is Kafka broker and the application consumes messages. What if you would like to autoscale this application? What are the options? On Kubernetes or OpenShift, we can use the standard uh, Kubernetes feature, which is HPA, Horizontal Pod Autoscaler. With that, we can autoscale this application based on CPU or memory consumption. But in event-driven world, this might not be the best option how to scale the, scale the application, because the application could be consuming messages, but the CPU or memory consumption doesn't have to be that high. So we would like to scale the application based on number of unprocessed messages in the Kafka topic, based on the lag. So 
we would like to go with this approach. We cannot do that with HPA without, without complex configuration. Another important thing to mention is that with plain HPA, you cannot scale down to zero. You can scale automatically just to a minimum of one replicas. You cannot scale down to zero. So, what can we do? Obviously, we can, we can use Keda. So, the application remains the same. It is the Kubernetes deployment. There is Kafka broker. It consumes messages. And there is Kafka installation, where we define the Kafka broker, the topic. So, Keda scrapes the metrics from the, from the topic. And then we obviously define the, the target deployment that we would like to scale. That's it. That's all we need to do. And now this application will be scaled by Keda based on the, based on the lag, lag which we can define in the metadata. Okay, so let's see this in action. Let's go back to our OpenShift console. Uh, in here you can see that I have streams installed on my OpenShift cluster. I have set up a topic, which is called my topic, and Kafka is all set. So let's take a look at the application that we are going to deploy. As you can see, there is nothing deployed in the default project. And over here at the code, you can see that uh, I have a Quarkus application. It's a very simple Quarkus application. By the way, Quarkus is our Java. Uh, is our Kubernetes native Java framework, and in here we are just reading, uh, reading messages from the Kafka topic, and printing it out into 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 output. Uh, this is the deployment file to deploy this application. So let me deploy this application. This it is named Kafka Quarkus Consumer. If we go back to OpenShift console, we can see that the Kafka consumer has been created and deployed. We can see that one path is running. If we check logs, we can see that the application has been started. So this is our application. It has been deployed and now it can accept messages from, from Kafka Kafka topic. Before we start uh, sending some messages to our Kafka topic, we can uh, let's let's see what we can do to auto scale this application. So this is our deployment, and over here you can see scaled object. Scaled object is a Keda custom resource where we define uh, the scaling metadata. Over here there is trigger section where we define the triggers, the scalers that we would like to scale our application. So. We can define multiple triggers in here, but in here we have just one trigger, which is Kafka type. And it connects to our Kafka broker, so we need to define our Kafka broker, consumer group, and Kafka topic. This is the my topic that I have already created in the OpenShift. And the last important option is lag threshold, which means that uh, it's set to 10, 10 messages. So if there are 10 messages in the, in the Kafka topic, the application will be scaled up. And which applications are we going to scale? Uh, that's been defined here in the scale target field. So in here, we define that, okay, let's scale our application, which is named uh, our deployment, which is named Kafka Quarkus Consumer. And the minimum replicas is zero, maximum replicas is 10. Okay, so our application has been deployed, so let's deploy scale object. If we go back, go back to our OpenShift console and check the topology, we can see that the application has already been auto-scaled down to zero. Because there are no messages in the Kafka topic, Keda auto-scaled this down to zero. We can check it in the Keda logs, so let me go back to the Keda pods in the Keda operator. And we can see in the message 
as a that uh, scale target replica scan has been set to minimum replicas because there are there is no activity in the in the trigger. So let's generate some load. Time to generate the load. Over here we have uh, we have uh, Kubernetes job, which produces messages and sends them to my dot okay. So let's generate the load. Now if we go back go back to our Chief console, we can see that the application is starting to be auto scale. Because SCADA spotted some some messages in uh, in the Kafka topic, we can see that uh, there is too many messages, so it has been already auto scaled to four replicas. If we check the CADA operator logs, we can see that the scale target has been updated because there is some activity in the in the Kafka broker, in the Kafka topic. And we can see that the application has already been auto scaled to eight, eight replicas. We can check some logs of some application. You can see that the application is running. And if we go back to logs, we can see that there is already 10, 10 replicas or of our uh, work as consumer application. And we can see there is the output. We can see that the application received some record, which is the Kafka message. So now our application has been auto scaled to the maximum number of replica replicas, which is 10. Uh, for instance, for Kafka, it does make sense to only auto scale to the maximum number of Kafka topic partitions. Kafka uh, Keda won't go beyond the number of uh, beyond the number of uh, rep partitions for for the consumer. If you want to, if you want to uh, go go uh, go beyond the number of uh, partitions, you can set that in the in the scaled object. And after some time, we can see that the application is is being uh, auto scaled back to zero because there are no topics in the uh, no messages in the Kafka topics, so our application has been auto scaled down to zero replicas. So, uh, thank you for watching this demo. How to how to auto scale your application, your Kafka consumer application on OpenShift.